<laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> All right, XOXO. <laughs> Got a girl. Audra at Home is filmed in front of a live Pitbull audience. Good morrow and merry meet. My name is Audra and you are in for a treat. All right, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I, I've tried a few things and I wanted to talk to you about the things that I've tried. Normally I do this in a bobs and flops and maybe that's what I'm gonna call this. Who knows, who knows, but we're here. And I wanted to just kind of go over the items that I've tried, whatever, whether or not I like them. We're gonna converse, this look is either up as we speak and you can watch it after this video or it will be up. So, subscribe and hit the bell. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm like this. It's eight-ish and I am still suffering because they're still doing the time change. Uh, it looks like Senate has in fact passed the bill though, so hopefully that will stop because my internal clock is already trash and I have been just furious this entire week. All right, let's get into the products right now. All right, first up, I got this in an Ipsy and normally I talk about these if I get the Ipsy again. I have no idea if it's coming again, so I'm just like, meh. So I'm gonna talk about this Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Booster. It's nice, like it, I don't feel like it did anything super fantastic and I feel like for whatever price that it is, I'm gonna put it here. I was supposed to put it there, like, but when I Googled the price, $50, 50 dollars, 50 fucking dollars, 45 dollars and some chains at, at the Walmart. What the fuck? I guess I better use it then, but it wasn't that great. It was all right, also. Okay, bye. And then I'll probably come in and editing and let you know whether or not I'm like, er. but I just feel like it's, it, it's a vitamin C, it's a vitamin C serum. It, it does what vitamin C serums do. It gives the temporary brightening effects. Uh, it feels nice on the skin. It goes in fairly easily. It's vitamin C y'all. Like, I don't know what to say about it other than that. Like it, it, it works as it's intended. It is not too strong that I do like. It is not an overly strong vitamin C that's gonna burn the fuck out of your skin. So there's that. Speaking of skin, cause I have it. Uh, I also got this in the Ipsy, which is the 111 skin, 11 skin, 111 skin, who, who knows. Uh, but their cryo activated toning cleanser. I used it exactly one time and that was more than enough for me to be like, no, thank you. I am good. It is just so fragrant and also so expensive for what? This is $70, 70, seven zero. And I want to know who, who is y'all did any of y'all have any of y'all purchased 111 skin, 111 skin? One eleven one skin eleven one one, one skin. Did have any of you just purchased it? Just gone to a store or gone online specifically to buy this? Sorry about the smacking gum, but I I haven't gotten to chew bubble gum in so long, and it's just like I'm like a cat with catnip. I'm like, oh, it's so good. All right, bye bye. And that, and that's been a problem that I have with one eleven skin, is it's very perfumey fragrance, like. Just, it's too much. And so when I'm washing my face, like do I like to have a luxuriously nice, like kind of softly scented experience? Yes, cause like I use the um, Tatcha Purple. I'm gonna call it Tatcha Purple, pop it up somewhere. But I use that, right? And I like that it has like a very light lavender scent. It's very soothing, relaxing, it's a chill time. I'm happy, you're happy because you know I'm using it and having a good time, but I don't like it to be like so perfumed that it's just, it overwhelms my senses and I can't handle it. It's like, I, it's immediately giving me a headache. I don't like this. Like this is some, I will never use it again. I will never use it again. And I don't think my mom will use it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but um, maybe I'll use it to wash my feet. So that's a thing. Um, <laughs> another cleanser that I did try uh, is the Fenty Skin Total Cleanse. Uh, I ha I don't. I feel like I got this in an Ipsy as well. I feel like that's what happened. No, no. I think I got it as like a small tester through Sephora. Here's what I'm gonna say. It, this is also heavily fragranced, and what I use it for is a day like today. So <laughs> I went to work, 
got off at a semi-decent time and I took a shower and I washed my hair, y'all. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Listen, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna stop talking. About, I'm like, I washed my hair, fam. Um, but <laughs> I washed my hair, uh, and I used this to wash my face so that I could film. You know, put on a new face makeup. Blah blah blah. It is heavily fragranced, and that's really the only thing that I will use it for. Is like, uh, I'm gonna wash my face, and I'm gonna put makeup on, and then I'm gonna wash my face with my real shit. So like, <laughs> I don't like this. I've heard other products from Fenty, from the Fenty Skin Line, are good. Um, the Fat Water, I've heard very good things about. Maybe I should try that. But this is just like, it's a cleanser, and it's it's too fragrance for me. I don't, I'm not living for it. I'm not living for it. Now I'm gonna come to a highly contested talked about, um, I feel like it kind of went viral on TikTok for a short period of time, and that is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacinamide. I know it's very, like the light's blowing it out, um, but it is, and I'll put it, see if I'm putting up a picture of it. There we go, there it is. You can't actually see the words, but you know what I'm talking about. It is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen. Here's the thing, I like it, okay? Now, I understand that a lot of people were saying that it pilled, and I do not doubt them. My review is not to negate anyone else's review, but I'm gonna say this. This is for them good skin ass having bitches like myself. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. If you have any texture, if you have acne, if you, I think if your skin might be a little too dry, this, and no. It's not, and I could tell that upon my first application. As soon as I got it into my hands, I put it in my hands and I started putting it on my face and I could tell that this, it is going to grip every bit of texture that you have on your face. If you don't have acne, don't, like that is, it is not, and I'm using good skin ass bitches in quotes because good, there's no such thing as just like good skin versus, you know, whatever, but like, you can't have any texture on your skin. You just can't. I have used it multiple different ways. I have used it without skincare because uh, I've heard varying things like, oh, well, other people use it without skincare, still got pilling. So I used it without skincare. I used it with skincare. I used it um, letting my face dry from the skincare and then not letting my face dry. I experienced zero pilling with it. It feels very nice on my skin. Uh, I will say that of all the foundations that I put on top of it, let's see, I put the Kosas on it, I put um, the Armani Glow, I think is what it's called, I'm not sure, I have to, it's our, it's an Arm Armani foundation. I put the LYS foundation on top of it, I put the Kosas foundation on it, um, uh, so I, I, let me just leave it there. I put a lot of different foundations on top of it. I will say that the Fenty Skin who child comes across i looked gray i looked gray by the end of the day that was after about nine hours of wear i just i looked very very gray so i would not recommend that particular one uh for those of you who are wondering i have oily skin uh with a very ten with a tendency for this area right here to get like extra oily but i just felt like i looked very like clean i looked very supple i looked moisturized I I will say also that some of the pilling could potentially be caused by using another product with niacinamide in it because you could overdo it with the nice niacinamide. It can also be the application. You cannot apply this as if you're applying a moisturizer. I cannot express this to you enough. You have to apply it like you're applying sunscreen. So you know with like moisturizer, I tend to dap, 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 and then like, you know, gently put it. This, I put it, scorch it into my hand about like a dime, and then I, push my hands together and then I just like sunscreen and then like kind of gently roll it the, the way in but you can't let it get too dry I think that that might also be another issue with the pilling you can't let it really get too dry on your skin if you're still trying to like get it into the skin it's not going to work out for you but I liked it I'm still using it on the daily because I work outdoors and I'm not having any problems with it but again I don't have any, like I do have texture, I do have texture, but I don't have any texture issues that might come up. If I had a zit or something like that, I would probably definitely notice that it might pill around that area, but I, I'm not having any problems with it. But I get it, you know what I'm saying? It's my experience. Shit's different, skin is weird. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is actually, ha, the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude. Y'all, do I have it upside down? No, I don't. I, I start like doubting whether or not I'm doing things right. Um, okay, I'm like, am I doing it right? Like, 
It's because I'm looking at it backwards. We're just gonna move on. We're gonna move on. It is a True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation. This foundation is something I did not even know that I was looking for or wanted in my life. This actually is glowy and not dewy. And here's the difference for me as an oily skin bitch. Um, sometimes a dewy foundation makes me look like I'm having a panic attack, okay? Because I start to look like I'm just like really sweaty instead of like glowy. This actually makes you look glowy. And I mean, like I looked glowy all day and it did go over top this very well for me. For me, it went over top this very well. I use a very small amount as well. That's the other thing about that is you don't use a lot of a foundation, whatever it is, um, on top of it. But this is so beautiful. This is so, so beautiful. So far I've only used it atop uh, this. I haven't used it any other way, so I'm gonna have to use it again another way, but currently, just on top of the sunscreen, like most of my foundations currently are being tested on top of sunscreen because that's the only way I can test them all day. Like I work outside, I am in the sun for a good por portion of my day, and so in order to test it out for several hours, it's gonna go on top of sunscreen, but that's a good indicator for me as well. So for me, I really like that it went on well and it looked fantastic all day. I wore this like for like nine or 10 hours one day, still looked glorious by the end of the day. I was like, bitch, don't talk to me. I was almost like ashamed and sad to wash my face to take, like, cause I was taking a shower and doing all the shit you do at the end of the day. And I was like, oh, I don't want to wash my face cause the skin looks so good. But I really, really like this. If you want to try it, some of these products will be linked below. Um, and those are affiliate links by the way, which make me money, which I use to put back into this channel so that I can continue doing dumb shit like buying all the foundations because I love a, compl a complexion product. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is this is an old product that I finally got to start using and that's got like watermarks all over it because I'm a monster. And that is the Fenty Beauty, um, wait, I hate the way that this is, because I know it's called like gloss bombs. It's the gloss bomb, but it's the cream formula, okay? So it's the cream gloss bomb. It's this, all right? <laughs> Sorry, I had to scratch my ear. Um, and I feel like this is in like Wicked or something like that. I'm really not sure. Like I can never see, I hate this. Does anybody else hate this? Like I can never read it. And maybe it's because I'm elderly. So it's me editing on a different day in uh, another black hoodie. So mm. <laughs> any who's it? The shade is fruit snacks, fruit snacks, Z with a Z. Thank you. But <laughs> I really like this. It gives a beautiful shine and a lot of good color. I feel like there's a lot of lip glosses that either give a lot of shine and initially give a lot of color, but like the color fades very quickly, but this, or it doesn't have a lot of shine and it has the color. This does both and the color does not fade. And when the color does fade, I feel like both of the things fade at the same time. The gloss and the color fade at the same time. So I'm not left with like this weird kind of glossy, like lip that looks like there was some color which makes you kind of look like you ate like a like a popsicle you know what i'm talking about but like so i don't have that effect i really like this and it's nice on the lips it's very smooth it's comforting so it's very enjoyable the next thing i want to go ahead and talk about are two products from uh black black moon cosmetics so sorry my brain just like took like a quick vacation. It's back now. And it's good to have you in there again. Uh, so first of all, I want to talk about the Urban Myth Palette because I have used this multiple times, all right? If you have not seen the inside, this is what the inside looks like. I have used this multiple times. And it's like, this palette is very weird. I understand why, I believe uh, Janessa was saying like this palette has mixed reviews. And I understand, Sorry, I don't know why I get such joy out of that. Now it's stuck to me. Uh, I understand why it has mixed reviews. First of all, I wanna talk about Loch Ness, this blue shade here. So the issue with this shade is that in the pan, it looks very, very, very blue. On the eye though, and I'm gonna see if I can swatch it for you. So you get it out, looks blue, okay? You're looking blue, you're having a good time. But as soon as you kind of start blending it, it almost becomes like a, 
like a blue purple it's more or like even navy I'm trying to see if I'm showing it to you well but it gets more navy than that bright blue and it's it kind of really sucks because you want like if it's gonna be navy I want it to be navy in the pan you know what I mean so I know what to expect and I feel like a lot of the mattes are like that and that whatever shade they are in the pan is not the shade that you're getting on your eye I in fact have this on today and let me scooch in. Well, actually, let me see if I can bring you in closer to me. So underneath my eye is where Loch Ness is. I have it underneath underneath my waterline. It also bleeds quite a bit, as you can see. It's just doing like a lot of bleeding, and I'm not a fan because it's kind of giving me like raccoony sensation that I'm not really fond of. Like I like a good raccoon eye only if done artfully and well on me, on me, because otherwise it just doesn't look good okay but to me it just bled quite it's, it bleeds quite a bit and I've used it several different times and it comes across as navy instead of the bright blue Bigfoot looks like it's like more mauvey but like a, like almost burgundy a brown but then when you get it on your eye it's like really like a very deeper brown the shimmers though are where it's nice like I really like the shimmers a lot although Bermuda Triangle which is this shade is not quite as nice as I'd like it to be but the other shimmers are nice like I love Bloody Mary I've been using this shade quite a bit and Bloody Mary is right here it's so pretty I love that shade I like boogeyman which is the green paranormal is what I'm using as my highlight like all the shimmers are nice area 51 is in my inner eye although that is a bit chunky and flaky and I think that that's the problem with both boogeyman and area 51 I will also say the other thing with boogeyman which is this green shade is that again when you get it on your eye you have to be a bit careful with it because if you don't have a base and this is a thing that I kind of discovered with it if you don't have a base it is going to tend to just travel all over the eye and I'm not a fan of the traveling sensation I'm just like hey do you want to find a place and stick there and it's like no thanks I'd rather not very annoying but it, it is very travelly like that's the only shade out of all of them that I found did a lot of traveling over my eye I feel like the other shimmers just stayed put like Bloody Mary is where it is and I feel like it's because Bloody Mary is a smoother shimmer formula than boogeyman in area 51 area 51 was quite crumbly and just trying to get it in my inner eye was a bit of a bit of work so I didn't go in like I normally do to like really make it pop because I could already tell that if I tried too much I would end up with like crumbly eyeshadow in my eye but paranormal is gorgeous Bermuda Triangle is lovely Bloody Mary is my favorite I wouldn't say that this is a bad palette it's kind of like meh and I think that it sh I just think that the real issue is like the mattes in pan I wish that they were the same color on your eye and they just aren't and I feel like that's where the issue comes in with this palette is that the shades just aren't coming across as they do in pan on your eye now the shimmers like I said lovely lovely but some are crumbly now on the flip side of that though this lip satin is fucking oh it is life okay so I have two of them um, I have Hellraiser and Elm Street. Hellraiser is a deep, beautiful blue, and Elm Street I have on my lips right now. It is such a comfortable formula, and it's gonna have like, it almost acts like it's gonna be a liquid lip, but it's not, because it's satin, obviously. But it stays on like a liquid lip without all of the drying and grossness that makes your lips chapped and sad and angry and that you have to put a gloss on top because otherwise your lips might fall off. I mean, some of y'all don't experience that. Zombie girly Jess, I know, you, you enjoy it. I don't, I don't understand. You must have just the strongest lips ever created on this planet. and. For that, I tip my hat to you. But these are fantastic and I really want to pick up more. I also do want to try other palettes from them. And someone, I believe Janessa had also mentioned that they have really great highlighters. So I want to try some other products from Black Moon Cosmetics because I feel like maybe I picked up like not the best palette, not the best representation of their brand, but I'm still good because these lippies, well, bitch, they are really nice. I know lippies is so gross to say, but like, I don't know what else to say. 
Uh, I have two more products and then you are free. So the first one I'm going to talk about is I got this from Yes Style. It is the Benton Shea Butter and Coconut Body Lotion, which like this I have mixed feelings on. I really like it. I like it, but I am a, I need a better butter. I'm more of a body butter and less of a body lotion person. Here's why. I like my shit to last for 24 hours. As such, I tend to use the Tree Hut body butters because I put that on at night. Like after I've taken a shower, I put this fucking body butter on and I am still as lubed up <laughs> the next day as I was when I first put it on. Now this is actually really nice for like my day wear and whatnot. It's also great for my hands. Um, it's nice as a touch up lotion as well. Uh, I take it to work and use it for my hands as well. Cause I wear gloves at work. So it's like, I like this. And I think that if you don't have like that need for your skin to be like super supple, like I do, like I need my skin. I like my skin to be so soft. It's like I'm wearing another person. Wait. Anyways, uh, I like my skin to be very soft. <laughs> and I feel like this does keep my skin soft, but I just feel like within 12 hours, like I can start seeing where my skin is drying out. So I feel like I'm using too much. It's also great on my feet though. It's great on like my nighttime feet. So I like that. Finally, the last product I'm going to talk about is the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. Y'all. Okay. I, oh God. Oh God, I am very upset about this because it's fucking expensive. Uh, I'm very upset about it because it's fucking expensive. That I had to say it twice because it's true and it hurts my feelings because I don't wanna like this. Um, here's what's happened. It's so nice and so good <laughs> that I'm like always like meeting it out, you know, like using a little bit and then like putting it to this, because it really is like a sorbet. It's one of the most moisturizing cleansing balms I have ever used. And I have used the pharmacies. I have used Elf's. I used to like, and I still stand by the vanilla cleansing balm, but this beats it. And I hate it because it's so moisturizing. It's, it's so rare for me that I use a cleansing balm that just like feels like this. Like it's an experience <laughs> and it's taking off my makeup. <gasps> Count me in. Um, so it looks like I am going to need to collect several more souls so that I can continue to afford this because I really, really like it. It just feels so nice on the skin. And I think one of the things that I also really like about it is that like when I rinse it, rinse off, if that was like my only step, like let's say I didn't have makeup on, but I was just like using the cleansing balm, uh, just to like wash my face, I would feel comfortable with that and putting moisturizer on top of it. I'd be like, that's fine. That's fine. That works for me. You know what I mean? But it's just like, it's so good. It's so good. And I said that, that was the last thing, but actually I have one more thing I really wanted to talk about because I've been using this for a little while. I had a friend send this over to me. It is the Milk Makeup Vegan Moisturizer. Y'all, can we have a conversation please? Now, this isn't anything fancy. It's not anything special. I don't even think it really has a smell. Like, it doesn't really have a particular smell. It's not, I'm gonna say it's not fragranced. It has a smell, but it's not fragranced. I don't feel like there's fragrance put in it. It just has a smell. Now, I don't know that for sure because I can't see the, um, the things because I, you know, moved and I threw away the box. But I'll put it here if there's fragrances added. Um, the thing about this is, this is a workhorse moisturizer. If you have dry skin, Great. This is a good, I think that this would be a good moisturizer for you. I have oily skin and I still really like it. This is just a workhorse moisturizer. And what I mean by workhorse is like, if you are not in the mood to do all these things, right? You're like, I don't want to put my skincare on. Like, I just want to go to bed. I just want to wash my face. I want to go to bed. So you, you slather your face with your expensive glow recipe. <laughs> Then you wash your face with some Fenty skin afterwards. You, you're, you do your double cleanse. And then you're like, I don't feel like doing serums and all that shit right now. You put this on. It's very moisturizing. 
like swipe swipe and your your whole face is like covered and you feel comfortable and confident that your skin is going to look good i didn't experience any issues with it and i've never experienced issues with it i really like it like and by issues i mean i don't have any allergic reactions it's not overly fragranced to where i can smell it a lot it just does what it's supposed to do which is moisturize my face it's not trying to do a gazillion and one other things it's not trying to be my skincare it is not trying to be the father of my children it's literally just like hi i'm a moisturizer and i work on your face and i'm like thank you that's what i need you to do and that is it y'all that these are the, some of the things i have tried as of late i have even more of these types of things coming your way yeah this is really a bops and flops because I feel like there's some things where I haven't used them as much as I'd like to so yeah this is I've tried some shit I tried some shit and it's like you know we'll keep playing with it they'll you'll see these things again in bops and flops after I play with them even further all right that's it that's the video if you enjoyed this video please do me a favor and give this video a big thumbs up so then that way the algorithm goddess can do what she does best which is push me further down into the algorithm so that I can continue to do what Whatever the fuck I want to. All right, and as usual, huge shout out to my patrons and spooky bays. Yeah, without which I truly would not be able to keep the bats in the belfry and the spiders firmly ensconced in their webs. If y'all feel like hanging out with me on Twitch, I'm gonna put a little clip in here at the end of this video, just kind of giving you an idea of what the hell it is I do over there. I'm currently obsessed with Evil Genius 2 and um, running my own empire. So, you know, hang out there as well. You know, all the places that I am are in the description box. All right, remember it costs zero, zero dollars to be kind. It's so good for your soul because if you don't take care of it, I'm sure shit coming for yours. All right, until next time, XOXO, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Gothic girl <laughs> going directly to bed. Not like directly, obviously. I gotta wash this off, but you know. <laughs> My lair is in low power. Y'all. Oh, for frick's sake. I'm trying so hard to dominate the world. And yet, world domination, I tell you what, it's fucking hard, fam. <sighs> <laughs> I'm like, unacceptable. So much map. Yeah. Like, I'm over here trying to, like, take over the world. And they just <sighs> literally won't stop getting on my nerves with, like, I need power all the time. I can't run an operation like this. <laughs> I can't run an operation.